Today, hardly one month goes by without an act of violent extremism carried out somewhere in the world. Most acts are motivated by ideological, political, religious gain or social change. Prisons can become breeding grounds for extremist elements to radicalize and recruit more individuals. Violent extremist prisoners can network in prisons and radicalize other prisoners, undermining prison safety and security and one of the core objectives of imprisonment, the protection of society from crime. In 2016, UNODC developed a handbook providing technical guidance on how to manage violent extremist prisoners and the prevention of radicalization to violence and violent extremism in prisons. The UNODC Global Maritime Crime Programme has based its programming on the handbook to enhance the ability of prison services to manage violent extremist prisoners, promoting disengagement interventions and support their rehabilitation for more successful post-sentence reintegration. In Hargeisa, Somaliland, UNODC is developing and implementing programming to prevent violent extremism in Hargeisa prison. <laughs> All we have to keep in mind is that these, these especially the, the terrorist prisoners, they, they are always coming. We always have, we always have Al Shabaab suspects who are convicted and brought to us. We are always afraid of these young impressionable people who are who come in here for small offences. We had a number of young prisoners here who were here on on rape charges. We know that once they were radicalized inside the prison and they, and they left, that they were arrested for terrorism charges. Yeah. So that's just one example. <laughs> so these young people are very impressionable. They, will, they, they need somebody to follow. Yeah. And, the, and these senior terrorists, they know what's going on yeah. and they see this as a recruiting ground. At this point, we, have many, we, we do have some level of segregation but they are not physically segregated. We no. keep them on different levels, but they can still intermingle at this point. Yeah. The UNODC Global Maritime Crime Program is constructing prison blocks specifically for separating prisoners according to their risk and classification through dynamic security. One, one thing we want to do here is to separate the upper departments from the lower departments. And depending on, on how, many, how many of the, the violent inmates who are convicted of violent extremist crimes, we know that they are they are uh, influencing uh, younger, younger inmates, and uh, that's why it's, it's so important to, to keep them separated all the, uh, all the time. Programming also includes training of staff. Another thing we're working with is we train the staff now, is we train a special security team to work towards the high-risk prisoners and, the, and the, the prisoners convicted for violent extremist crime. Programming importantly looks at routines and procedural security to minimize the risk of radicalization. He said, yeah, Abdel Sak says that it's very, is, is a big worry for the custodial corps and they take every necessary precaution to make sure that we don't mix too much with these terrorists. He said, we keep our distance from them. Oh, yeah. And also, we don't want to get into trouble while we're here because then more time will be added onto our sentences. They don't let us all out together at the same time. There is segregation once we are out in the recreation area. In Kenya, UNODC has installed a prison record management system in Kimiti Prison in Nairobi and Shimulatewa Prison in Mombasa. UNODC have introduced a FileMaker database system. It's to record all the prisoners on. Moving away from the paper system, which made it very difficult to track prisoners. Um, this database, we can put a lot more information into it. So you just put all the information in there, all his name, yeah. whether he's convicted, yeah. Yeah. his religion, his sentence. His sentence, everything. Yeah, so the someone that's high risk, you give a bit more information about them. Yeah. Each and everything that happens with each and every single person it is here, it is documented here, it gives you easy access to a person and it will tell you more about each and every single person. We can track a prisoner all the way through his sentence, what has he been up to, we can put his education, we can do what programmes that he's been working on while he's in prison and if he has misbehaved all this will be recorded onto the system as well. So
Through our database, we conduct risk assessments. What is their risk from other prisoners and how we can protect them while, while they're inside. In Puntland, Somalia, UNODC is working in Garraway Prison. Rehabilitation of prisoners is important to improve their reintegration into society. Prison is currently housing a number of different inmates, including juveniles, who have been caught in conflict and are associated with Al-Shabaab. Such efforts are currently providing provision of education and moderate religious teaching, which are some of the tools that will enable their rehabilitation and preparation of their reintegration. My name is Shafi Abdullahi. I'm in Garraway Prison. I learned nursing work for six months. Dr. Mashla and the nurses taught me how to take blood pressure and check for diabetes as well as how to give patients IM and IV injections. And after they taught me the treatment of the people. In Mogadishu, Somalia, UNODC is currently constructing a large prison and court complex. The new MPCC, that's the Mogadishu Prison and Court Complex, which we are working with uh, UNODC among other institutions, but the main and partner in that, in that regard for us is uh, UNODC. So this new prison will give us opportunity to um, keep the people in, in, on international standard. This will, this will be really fast in its kind in, in, in maybe in, in, in our region, not only in, in, in Mogadishu. And uh, with that, I hope we will be more effective in rehabilitating and correcting the people, not just fighting and giving them a hard life. So we have to give them opportunity to, to change and to reintegrate the, the society. So this program of violent extremist crimes uh, in Somalia is really, is really very, very uh, problem, and it's very important to have international partners like uh, UNODC. Uh,